I'm here to talk about the um, need to end highway expansion, the third point we're focusing on here today, along with the end fossil fuels and end forest destruction. Fossil fuel extraction, forest destruction, and transportation are the big three sources of greenhouse gas pollution in BC. According to these people behind us, it's the biggest source of greenhouse gas pollution in BC and in Greater Victoria. And if you go look at what the, 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 the top scientists in the world are saying, um, the IPCC, they say that, quote, transformative changes in the transportation sector are needed to meet climate targets. That's transformation, not tinkering around the edges. And the first, the first step to, towards positive change is to stop making the situation worse. And you all know that highway expansion makes traffic worse and increases greenhouse gas pollution. It's kind of a dumb thing to do. Over 545 groups have endorsed the BC Climate Emergency Campaign's demand that BC, quote, invest in affordable, accessible, and convenient public transit within and between all communities. Reallocate infrastructure funds from highway expansion to transit and active transportation, that is cycling, rolling, and walking and mandate zero emissions for all new light duty vehicles by 2027 and all medium and heavy duty vehicles by 2030. Yeah. 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 And in theory, in theory, all level of governments recognize this need for transformative change. Uh, in 2021, Climate Justice Victoria, Greater Victoria acting together and other groups asked the Capital Regional District to prioritize public transit, walking, rolling, and cycling over highway expansion. And they voted unanimously to do so. But instead of action, they sat on their hands. They haven't done anything since making that unanimous vote. They haven't even written a letter to, the, to these people behind me in the province. That same year, the province set a target to reduce automobile, automobile vehicle kilometers traveled, that's traffic, 25% by 2030. But they still haven't put a moratorium on highway expansion. They're still making the problem worse. They're working on a clean transportation action plan, but expanding highways at the same time. Um, as a result of these delays, the provincial and federal governments have funded the $77 million Keating flyway, um, flyover boondoggle and the $85 million widening of Souk Road instead of bus lanes for our rapid bus network. The same thing is going on in every region of the province. It makes no sense to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on highway expansion while doing consultation on a plan to reduce traffic 25% by 2030. We can't afford years of talk and pay. Um, I also want to touch on some of the things the BC Climate Emergency Campaign that's in our campaign's open letter. In the media relief, Chief Marlon Slat, Secretary Treasurer of the Union of BC Indian Chiefs, Chiefs states that this, quote, cannot just be about ridership in big urban centers, Bus must, but must deliver reliable and accessible public transit to and from First Nations and small towns. Providing safe and affordable transportation services is essential, not only to reduce transportation emissions, but also to meet the acts on the calls to justice of the National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls. We need affordable and accessible public bus network province-wide. We need affordable electric buses from Victoria to Nanaimo every hour. 
the open letter also calls for prioritizing funding for projects that reallocate road space from cars to transit lanes, protected bike and roll lanes, and pedestrian priority spaces. We're going to go for a walk on a really nice pedestrian priority space that's been created uh, recently, Government Street. It only took 40 years to get that done. Um, we're also going to walk down uh, Douglas Street, where for half a century, governments have been planning to put transit lanes in. And when we're walking by the CRD offices, which are going to walk right by, and City Hall, take a look at them and think about whether or not we can get bus lanes on Douglas Street within a year, or whether it's going to be more and more climate de delay. Thank you very much.